All right, guys, we're doing a thing. Our friend won tickets to Billy Bob's on the radio. He won tickets for Friday night and Saturday night, and he said he asked everybody and nobody could go. We're the only ones that can actually go this weekend. We're headed to Fort Worth. This hotel room is done. We do this almost every single time we stay in a hotel, and it's always about $47. You hungry, babe? I'm getting there. Mmm. Mmm. No. The pizza's stuck. Yours always looks better than mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there it is. What you doing? Trying to figure out how to close this Uber thing. <laughs> well, they don't really like filming in there, so we'll see how it goes. I might be able to get some pictures or something. We'll see. Here's Willie. The Handwall Hall of Fame. It goes on forever. I was looking for Willie Nelson, but I didn't ever see him. We went to a John Wolfe concert that night, and it was good, but obviously I didn't record any of that. Billy Bob's also does bull riding every Friday and Saturday, and we did go to that, and I did record a lot of it, but there was music playing too. It seems like everywhere I go, there's always music playing. But those, I mean, I'm sure I'll put the videos up somewhere. Um, what was funny about it was <laughs> there was several guys from Texas. Two of them were from Justin, Texas, and one of the bull fighters was from Justin, Texas. So I'm like, they, they're probably related. They have to at least know each other. But anyway, there were several guys from Texas, one from Mexico, and then a guy from Idaho, Colin Williams. And so I was kind of making jokes like, you know, he got to feel out of place, right? Well, guess who won? The guy from Idaho won. This is him. Look at that champion. That's what I get. I should have been nice. Trox made a good point, though. You'll notice that he's not wearing the face guard because guys over a certain age don't have to. So he probably has a lot more experience. And the crowd went crazy. When he got to his eight seconds, the crowd just went absolutely crazy. So this is a picture? With, oh, this is... Oh, we just got a free pool game. Usually you have to pay to play on the pool table. And uh, I had his... He went to the bathroom and I left his drink set on the pool table and the guy came over and he was like, you can't do that. And I was like, oh, sorry, I'm just waiting for someone. He was like, do you want a game? And I was like, I'm laughing. And so he came and unlocked the table for us. I have no clue how to play pool. I have no idea how to play pool. I'm not going to teach you how to play pool. You're going to learn today. You might have a change of plans for today. The hotel was horrible. It was absolutely atrocious, but it did kind of have a good view. There were these horses outside the window. It was pretty cool. It also rained all day Saturday. Aww. You ready horses? to go? What are we in, Texas? <laughs> yeah, I'm good to go. Okay. First of all, I can't shoot pool because it's not that I can't learn the rules of pool. I can't hit the ball. That's not the point. The point is it's been raining all morning. Yeah. And we were going to yeah. come watch the cattle drive. And now we're trying to decide if we want to get out and walk around in the rain or not. It's I mean, we have raincoats and hats and an umbrella. 
Some of the stuff's inside, a lot of it. That's true, a lot of it does look like it's inside. So I guess we will. I should probably put a hat on now. It's not raining at the moment, but it probably will start raining again. Yeah. All right, well, you ready to be cold? Sure. I hope it's gonna be cold. Enough. It's like 55 degrees in Fort Worth right now. It's cold up here. It's chilly. It's never 55 in Central Texas. I'm looking around and it is a rainy day here and I do see a lot of great looking people, really all great looking people and really friendly looking people, that's awesome. Welcome to the Stockyards, cattle drive will take place here probably about 11 and a half minutes, something like that and they're probably going to walk right by you, but sometimes they don't walk. So we do have some safety tips for you and we'll give you those now. As we start the cattle drive, we ask that you remain in a standing position on the curb, please do not step into the street as the cattle are coming down. We also ask you to not lean down to take a photo. Please remain on the curb until the cattle are completely off the street. We will be opening the street back up for traffic right after the cattle drive. And another thing, if you have a dog, and if that dog is with you here today, that's a key part of the equation, please keep that dog on a leash and under control. Fantastic. There's going to be a gunfight show right after uh, the cattle drive. Where's that? Well, walk down the east end of Exchange Avenue. The east end of Exchange is where you see the staircase. If you go down there, you'll see some tracks going through the building that's known as today as Stockyard Station. It's the old hog and sheep pens. Follow the tracks through the building. They'll take you right to where the legend of Texas will be doing the yeah, I know. comedy gunfight show have, right yeah. after the cattle drive. That's okay. Also, Heritage Club is a free fan club for folks who love the stockyards. Sign up at FortWorthStockyards.com today. Head over to the Pendleton Bar on the Exchange Lawn for ice cold beverages. Also, the Stockyards Championship Rodeo is tonight at 7.30 p.m. right here at the Cowtown Coliseum. I am pointing at the Cowtown Coliseum right now. Built in 1907 in 88 working days, and they still have rodeos there every week today. For more information or to get tickets, contact uh, CowtownColiseum.com or the Coliseum box office today. And check out the Crew Tiny House on the lawn of the RFD office there for luxury eyewear. So, you may be wondering why do we do the cattle drive twice a day in Fort Worth, Texas? That is a fair question. Here's what you want to so do, is Fort Worth has a lot of cool yeah. nicknames. I've got to remember to zoom out when I turn it back to you. One of the nicknames for Fort Worth is Where the West Begins. The history of that goes back to Sam Houston. Another nickname for Fort Worth is City of Cowboys and Culture. A lot of people are not aware that Fort Worth, Texas is the 13th largest city in the United States of America, population-wise. Another nickname for Fort Worth, Panther City. Of course, that's a really cool name for a town, and there is really interesting history that goes with that. But the best known nickname for Fort Worth is Cowtown, and that is the Cowtown Coliseum. Where did Cowtown come about? Well, Cowtown came about because after the Civil War, the economy in Texas was wrecked, destroyed. We did not have a lot of jobs or assets. We did have one asset that was millions of Longhorn cattle way down in South Texas. And it just so happened that the North, way up that way, had pretty much used up their beef in the war effort. For every six people they had up North at that time, they had about one cow. At the same time, though, in South Texas, for every one person, they had about six cows. Down there at that time, the cow was worth about four dollars. But if you can get that cow from down there south of San Antonio, up to Austin, up to Waco, up to Fort Worth, through downtown Fort Worth, across the Trinity River, today. and into this creek valley where we all are here, there were no that guys here yet. We get it through here, and then we get another 420-something plus miles north of here to Abilene, uh, Kansas, and Ellsworth, Kansas, where the railroads were. If you can do that, you can sell that four-dollar cow for probably at least 40. So at the north, cattle drives took place through here. It's basically I-35 West today, Interstate 35 West, the Chisholm Trail. I-35, we're getting really close to cattle drive time, and I'm looking for a signal. All right, folks, welcome to Texas. Welcome to the cattle drive. Thank you all. Howdy, cowboys and cowgirls, and welcome to the Fort Worth Herd Cattle Drive. I'm Barry Corbett. Once upon a time, the stockyard, right where you're standing, was filled with cattlemen and cowhands. Cattle were driven by men and women on horseback called drovers. 
wide brim hats and dirt on their boots. 150 years ago, this was their last stop before the long walk, over 500 miles of rugged land to Kansas. Fort Worth was the drover's last chance to buy supplies, enjoy a good meal, and kick up their heels before months of beans and hard tack and sleeping under the stars. Today you'll catch a glimpse of that fast, but the herd is more spectacle. It's a reminder of Fort Worth's Western heritage, of the cowboy grit and rugged independence so ingrained in the Texas spirit. That spirit is still here, and you are a part of it. So be sure and tip your hat and say howdy as the Texas Longhorns pass by with our drovers. In the stockyard, every day is a new adventure. And it starts right here with the Fort Worth Herd. Eighteen hundred plus. No, not that many. That was the year they were 
one or another. You boys better watch your step around here. Yeah, oh, what well, I said. You think me and Michael Padre are not tough enough to take care of you? No, no. no. Yes, sir. I'm so We can't afford a street cleaner anymore. It looks like y'all can tap dance or something. <laughs>
how do I look? Yeah. So she said it was going to come her thing with the scrap. Wow! Oh boy! Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't drink, we don't drink Bud Light! <laughs> I didn't bring the right beer. But now, you do what I say, when I say it, and nothing else. You got it? I'm putting it up now, so I will be done. Alright, fellas. I'm Marshall Chance Captain. The fun's going to stop right now. But I am Peter and Jimmy, so I'm going to give you two choices. Choice number one. Take them guns out of your holster. Lay them on the ground between your feet. <laughs> then raise your hands high in the air like you're taking with the cloud. If I don't march you off down to the jail, what? Pardon me? What? What? Are you no, doing? You know what you told me to do. Wait, kids. You said, uh, <laughs> Take them hot legs out of your holster and lay them down in the street and hang your feet. And put your hands in the air! I just don't care. Did you ever heard you when I was talking to them? Hello, Lucy! Cowboys! <laughs> What's it gonna be? <laughs> oh, oh, I guess that's kind of scary. I don't know. Marshall, shoot them and make them sleep it! Seem like and there is a price on the line. He's thirty thousand dollars. That's it. That's it. Sure. Got the zebra mom and this baby. That was nice. Oh, poor baby. Look at that raccoon playing cards. Of course. There's two over there playing cards. That one's only two thousand. That's what a mechanical bull looks like. Ooh, candy store. The 
urinals are in there for cowboys wearing high heel boots. They're really, really tall. Did you have to tiptoe to pee? No, I used the kids' urinals. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think of the stockyards, babe? I want the jumbo huge $350 casket. That's going to be our crow rug in the cabin. Mm hmm. That's probably bigger than the cabin. <laughs> Sam says the jumbo is seven foot by eight foot, and the huge one just says huge. <laughs> all right guys that will do it for this one we had a great time as always thanks for watching and see you next time